e-commerce appears to be making a big comeback, making this a good time to find e-commerce stocks to buy. Signs are mounting that e-commerce is making a big comeback, making this a good time to find e-commerce stocks to buy. Amazon.com Jake Morgan expects Amazon's gross merchandise volume to surge 11.6% this year. Kupang Kupang is growing rapidly and showing signs of becoming well-entrenched in Taiwan. Mercado Liber Mercado Liber continues to report stupendous quarterly results. Expected growth in e-commerce is a factor every investor should consider. Let's dive in. Here are the three top e-commerce companies to invest in 2023. Welcome to Timely Investment Research. Multiple signs show that in line with my previous predictions, e-commerce is bouncing back. One such indicator is when JP Morgan recently predicted that Amazon's gross merchandise volume would surge 11.6% this year. They also cited that the e-commerce giant would become America's largest retailer in 2024. Analysts expect multiple e-commerce players to grow by 9% or greater levels in both 2023 and 2024 including Carvana, Chewy, and of course, Amazon. Given these points, and with many e-commerce stocks still trading at rather attractive valuations, it's a good time to purchase high-quality names in the sector. Number 1. Amazon.com As mentioned previously, Jake Morgan expects Amazon's gross merchandise volume to surge 11.6% this year. That's a rather impressive increase and suggests that Amazon's e-commerce business is continuing to grow rapidly and gain market shares. Talk abounds over Amazon using AI to enhance its cloud business. Yet the firm's e-commerce unit will also likely get a big lift from the technology. One of the ways that Amazon can use AI to improve its e-commerce business is by producing summaries of users' reviews of each product with the technology. That will enable shoppers to more quickly understand the main points made by reviewers. Moreover, I'm sure that the e-commerce giant will harness AI to more effectively match its customers with wanted products. It can also use the technology to create more efficient supply chains. It's interesting that investment bank Roth MKM recently increased its price target on Amazon stock to $155 from $130. They cited the benefits that the giant can obtain from AI as well as the firm cutting costs. The bank kept an outperform rating on the shares. Number 2. Coupang Coupang delivered its second consecutive strong quarterly results last month. The revenue of its main e-commerce business jumped 21% year-over-year, excluding currency fluctuations, to $5.7 billion. The firm's earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation, and amortization, excluding certain items, came in at $288 million. This is in contrast to $3 million during the same period a year earlier. Moreover, it reported a bottom line of $91 million versus a loss of $209 million during first quarter of 2022. Another positive is that Kumpang appears to be making significant progress in penetrating the Taiwanese e-commerce market, as its app attained the number one spot in both iOS and Android in the island nation. In a previous video, I noted that according to one estimate, Taiwan's e-commerce sector will grow at a compound annual rate of nearly 10% over the next five years. Moreover, e-commerce is expected to account for 11.6% of retailers' total sales in 2026 in Taiwan, up from 9.5% in 2022. Number 3. Mercado Liber Latin American e-commerce and fintech giant Mercado Liber, as usual, reported very strong quarterly results on May 3. In the first quarter, the company's top line soared 58.4%, excluding currency fluctuations, versus the same period a year earlier. Also, the company's fintech business continued to grow at an extraordinarily rapid rate. Its total payment volume soared 96% year-over-year, excluding currency changes, to $37 billion. In a note to investors on June 23, UBS contended that Mercado Liber was poised to gain market share in both e-commerce and fintech. The firm raised its price target on the name to $1,600 from $1,500 and kept a buy rating on the shares. The bank also expects the company's margins to continue to climb. Mercado Liber's estimated price earnings to growth ratio of 1.7 indicates that the stock is drastically undervalued in light of its growth outlook. Thanks for spending some time with us today, Timely Investment Research. We're so glad you did. If you found value in today's video, please give us a like, hit that bell icon to never miss an upload, 
And hey, don't forget to subscribe.